Sunday and clock up. Yeah, Twelve minutes past one. I wanted to get out earlier than this. Not going to canals today. Can't have a crazy canal lady down there every day. I'm gonna try and hit the so, them hills. I will probably regret this decision very first, fastly. <laughs> There you go. Make a change. Oh, a little while ago I went and bought some quick dry tops from Matterland. They're quite cheap. They're mainly for like running, I think. And uh, I got this long sleeve one, and they have that hole in it. And you put your thumb through. I'm really liking them. You don't have to put gloves on. I mean, you would if it was really cold, but just uh, keep your hands warm until you're, um, I'm not doing them hills, by the way. I'm going over that side, which you can't see, obviously, because I'm going up to the park and around and up. But yeah, I'm liking these tops with the little thumb holes. Might get another one. All right, <coughs> long haul down here, then back up that hill and uh, today I'm listening to some Gloria Estefan. This makes me laugh, this is the park, <coughs> car park and you've got to pay to park in there or you can just come over here and park on the side of the road for free. Assholes making you park, pay to park, so you, when you go to the park, right, that hill in the distance is the one I think I'm heading up. Gotta go up further, turn right, and go up, up, up. Now, this is a New Zealand native. It's called a hebe. I can't remember the botanical name. And no, it's not one up there either. Yeah. You can get them in a variety of colours when they do flower. Whites and pinks and not sure if you can get red. Probably can now. Probably some um what should we call it? Crossbred it or something. Made a cultivar, that's the word. Yeah, surprised to see that. Big old house back there. I presume it's just one residence. Sometimes these things are more than one, but I'm guessing it's one. Big old gates. What's it called? Hyroid. That's a surprise. Everything around this area is called something roid. Better view of the house. Oh, it's just like the small houses at the back. Could be a barn, but. Little view over Halifax. Lovely tower blocks in the city centre. All the little terraced houses down the bottom there. In case you get these big mothers like that one. Dry ski slopes. These are children's parties here. And there's an indoor play thing as well. This one I saw them the other week. They go down little rubber rings. Which would be probably, probably quite good actually. That'd be a bit boring. That one would be bloody good. Right, big quarry here, lots of quarries around here, that's that ski slope there, it's probably South Arum, been walking uphill for the last hour and a half, can't say I'm going particularly fast, but I can't just keep going on canal all the time. 
Let me get some hill work in. Hopefully it'll flatten up soon. Get a bit of a view in the distance. Alright, going off road for a little bit. See what this is like. Alright, I'm walking downhill now, which is always means there's going to be an uphill on the other side. Well, that sign tells me a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> I've covered this in barbed wire. Buggers. Can't see it here. You look over there, it's all over that fence there, look. And you lift that little skinny old gap there that I've got to squeeze through now. Bastards. Here we have one walking stick. Somehow I've got to get down that fucking thing. I don't quite know what's going on with this um, wooden survey mats. But, uh, I'm going to definitely need my stick to get down there. Right, I've stopped to have a cup of tea. I have a feeling I'm actually going to have to turn around and go back up all that way. Ugh. Anyway, I'll have a cup of tea and contemplate. Well, I made it down. It's pretty bloody steep. I don't know if you can tell that. This last bit had to come down my side down my bum. All those brambles, it's, uh, they can hook around your ankles, so it makes it tricky. Uh, yeah. So I think it's down there. Not very well marked out at all. I should have to get me OS map up and see if I'm on track. Bloody just gets worse and worse. Like I said, cows mooing over in the background. I hope they're not killer cows. I just want to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> God. I managed to get through that under that tree. Just got down here. I think I finally found it. Look at that gate. That means it's a path. So how the hell? Supposedly I was on the path, but I don't think sometimes I was maps so are 100% correct because there's a track over there. So I must have been to come down that one. But I don't know. I didn't spot that when I was trying to follow it. Oh, and that looked like a nice little old track, and I've been through off all that fucking bullshit up there. Oh well. It's onwards. Alright, let's hope we have no more of that. Carry on. We're going to have a nice little stroll through the countryside. There's a camper van that I could probably afford. <laughs> it's abandoning something like that. Amazing. Anyway. There's a path over there, and I think that's what I'm going through. And I don't know if I've got to walk up that bloody hill. Uh. Alright, just come up those stairs through this gate and found this tarmac. I think I could kiss the ground. Just I'm not in the mood for that uh, scrambling crap. Besides, this always happens on this kind of walks. We're going three hours, and I've only done. 4.35 miles. I usually do on the flat, I can do um, I do five miles in two hours. So this is ridiculous. I mean, so it's 4.18 now. So just about didn't get dark early anymore. Eh? Probably be a couple of hours before I get home. I don't think I'll be doing the full walk that I anticipated. I think I should just be trying to head home on the shortest route that I can find. Oh, it's a pretty gate. Never seen one like that before. Really nice. 
Very nice houses around here too. Another stinking hill to walk up. This is a bad idea today. Bit of stuck to the canal. Add another path, hopefully. It'll cut out going up that hill along there. So we'll see. And that was a tight bloody squeeze and that pole being there didn't bloody help either. There we go, looks like there's some cows down there. Mm -hmm. Right, wish me luck. Bloody hell, they've got horns on them and all these things. I'm going to look how far away this fossil. And the calves, so that's good. I think I got away with it. So I'll come back down and back through the park. I'm just going to stop and sit here for a minute, finish my tea. And I would say it looks like for about the same amount of time uh, I can do 10 miles on the canal. That's stopping and having my tea break and that. Do about 7 miles when it comes to going up the hills and across tracks and things like that. So need to improve that time really, um, particularly if I want to do the ghost to ghost. Uh, and when I do that I'm going to have to plan it so it's, they're not as longer days, particularly the hilly walks. So, we'll see anyway. <laughs>